Hello and welcome to another daily recap where we look at predetermined levels in the SPY or the spiders and we'll use those to trade against in the E-mini futures. And these levels that you see here will be sent out to subscribers shortly after this video, this pre-video is made. Currently, it's 8.57 a.m. Eastern. The vertical line on the left is where the spiders closed yesterday and they are currently right below 5.18. They've mostly gone sideways in the pre-market and they could go up or down today. Of course, that's the case with every day, but just looking at some other time frames, and pretty much yesterday they've hovered around important areas on each respective time frame, and then a little bit of indication that there's a kind of an uptick in some selling toward the end of the day on some other indicators that I have. So let's just be prepared. And once again, like it has been for the past several days or week or so, I'm just treating the levels a little cautiously, probably trading one or two contracts at each level because they're kind of close together. We'll take a look at all the trades taken in the E-minis based off of these levels after the market closes. It's after 10 p.m. now. The day completely got away with me. I had to leave before lunch for an appointment and I've been tied up until just now. And since it's so late, I'll make this video as brief as I can. The levels have been adjusted already with a five cent buffer as price came into them. There were three official trades. Here's the three levels. I'll talk through these trades as they would have played out if you were adhering strictly to the rules, and then I'll show you my actual trades because they were recorded live this morning. First trade was entered right after 9.45 a.m. The spiders were slightly above 5.18.29. Contracts were bought at this level. Price got a little jolt 10 o'clock as predicted this morning in a data release, and that helped put this long trade in the bag pretty quickly. The next trade was a short trade at 5.19.40. Instead of reacting at this level, price kept climbing, hit 5.20.35. So this level was sold to their average in the position. The combined position produced a fumble and was reversed. Some points were lost in the fumble, but on the reversal base hit was pulled out just barely. And so the final trade would have been a recycle of the level that fumbled. And you might ask which level would you consider the one that fumbled because there were two levels that were traded. Well, the level is the average of the two official levels. So the middle between 51940 and 52035 it's kind of weird how it works, but it does most of the time. After a certain amount of time from when it was hit first hit to when it com comes back to that level again, it is valid for a recycle. So the third and final trade would have been a long trade at 5.1988. That's the midpoint, and it would have worked. So technically, that was the level that produced the fumble, and the recycle would have worked. So three uh, base hits. And just... Just to point out, almost all fumble levels can be recycled later, the same day or the next day, and this is a good example of how they work. So three base hits total, about a five and a half point fumble, if you were playing by the rules. So we'll look at my trades now, which are mostly the same as what we already discussed, but with a few differences. As I, as I mentioned earlier, I had to leave before noon at about 1130 or so. So I was running out of time, running out of time for one trade and had to close it up early, but and I was nowhere close to my screens for this recycle. So I did not get that trade, but there's another trick up my sleeve in the live recording. So let's roll that now. I'll scrub ahead to right before 10 a.m. So you can see the data release jolt that put the first trade um, in the money. So 9.50, back up to 9.58 or so. So I'm long two at this point at this level. And this two contract position quickly got it, got uh the bag. So I'm short at the next level. One, I sold one contract at each of the levels, and this is the one that fumbled. And uh, so I guess I can scrub ahead to where this one was reversed because you see I'm short um, one at this point. And they went up to 52040. I sold again. So we haven't got there yet. So you'll see me go sell again. And then I'll just scrub ahead. There we go. And now I'm short two and there is a fumble. So I'll give some points back to the market and reversed. Let's see when that was. So I'm going to let this play because I want to talk about something else. You'll notice that there's a new level on the board, 52095. So this was a level that I identified in real time. I was willing to sell there. So I wanted to get my base hit once I reversed. So I'm, I'm still short here, but in a minute you'll see me go long. So I identified this level. I'm willing to sell here if they got up there after clearing out the base hit on the reversal because this was a pretty good area for a good rollover. That's what was pretty obvious. And I held this a little longer before I reversed it. But there we go. Now I'm long too. Looking for just the base hit on that. So 
keep mentioning this, but so I was going to sell here and then sell if they went up higher to 520.130, but the 520.95 was all that was needed. That's where the, the real resistance was, as you'll see momentarily. And so I did sell up there again. And so I forgot the base hit. I haven't got there yet. I'll scrub ahead. It was kind of agonizing. They kind of played with it for a while. Let me speed up. And two contracts, four points. Where am I at? Right. Finally. So I was just going to sell one at 520.95, sell again if they went higher, but that was uh, all it was needed. But at this point, I'm kind of running out of time. And th when they didn't hand a base hit to me within about 10 minutes or so, I I had to uh, get ready to head out. <clears throat> when I started to head back to my entry point, um, I just decided to close up, made the decision to jump out of the trade. And that's kind of when I close up shop that just pretty much just for a few tick profit, just got out. Um, if I had held held on and had time to manage this <clears throat> trade appropriately, I could have pulled a base hit out of this because this was where they rolled over and they and they uh, came down farther. And not to mention, I never got the recycle of that fumble level as we already talked about. So anyway, this is pretty much about time I close up shop. So the uh, recording ends about right there. I had to leave around 1130. So here back to the full day, you can see <clears throat> all the levels that were traded. Long trade, short, short. Average then, fumbled, base hit, short up here. And then this is the one that, I'm not going to put the line here, but it would have been 5 19 Four base hit, which uh, I didn't take. So we'll take a look at the tracking log, and we'll just look at both scenarios. Since I'm doing this now, if you were adhering strictly to the rules, you would have got three base hits. Um, the first base hit, and then the fumble on the other two, and then recycle. So just to show you, base hit, average then, 5.5 point fumble, base on the reversal, base on the recycle. So there's the... Total amount of points for the day. What I actually got was less because I got the uh, fumble. Well, I got the first base hit, got the fumble, but I got a new level up here. But it's pretty much a scratch, a wash. So just a few points. I was slightly over two hundred dollars, honestly, to twelve fifty with uh, or before commissions. So those were the trades, and I hope you found this interesting. Sorry this is so late. Um, hope you will. Uh, Consider subscribing to the channel, liking these videos, and giving me some support. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.